JT Smith for the front office news. Checking in, the Bearcats lose on the road to the Houston Cougars, 71 to 53. This game got rough in the second half, but the first half, the Bearcats showed a lot of fight, only being down four points at the half. Um, Taze Moore, I want to say, I don't know if I said his name right, but uh, Moore hit a three at the buzzer to give the Cougars a four point lead. But it was, you know, just team effort. I felt like um, Jared Hensley had um, a very good game, even though his stats don't show it. He played very well at a three and a four. Um, Mikey Saunders Jr. had a heck, had one of his better games, um, led the team with 14 points. David DeJulius had a solid game. He didn't have one of his better games, but with the attention that Houston was, you know, giving to him, he did a good job of deferring, you know, creating shots for others, even though his stat line wasn't one of his better stat lines. But he did a good job of, um, you know, getting good shots and getting others good shots. You know, John Newman the third had a heck of a game. You know, 11.7 rebounds, a heck of a, a facial dunk in the second half. It just wasn't enough. Um, you know, Jeremiah Davenport didn't have one of his better games. You know, he was two for 10. And against Houston, it's, it's rough if you if you go for two for 10, and, you know, to one of your leading scorers. But um, I do like, you know, um, Victor Locken had a solid game, especially in the first half. I want to say he had four points and a couple rebounds. But... Overall, just wasn't enough. You know, you know the Bearcats didn't shoot free free throw well. I want to say they were five of sixteen, but I like the fight that they had. Even though they did lose by eighteen, you know it was a you know West Miller got his first technical as a UC Bearcat coach, and they tried to fight. They just had a couple shots that you know, a couple four shots, and you know that kind of burnt them. And you know Houston, you know dug the grave and you know put the dirt on them, but. You know, now Houston is the AAC champion. The Bearcats are 17 and 13 overall, 7 and 10. I want to say they have lost the last, I want to say six of their last seven. But I do like the fight that they had on a road against Houston. This is a team that is, if you go pound for pound, they're better than you see. Let's just be honest. But, you know, for 20 minutes, the Bearcats fought. I just think they came out in the second half a slightly fatter, flat or maybe even tired. Um, and just couldn't couldn't hold up, and then they, they they had burst where they were trying to get back in it. But Houston is a grindy grimy team, grinder type of team, and they can shoot a little bit. So it is it, it you know when you you dig a hole, it's hard to get out of it when you when you are not the more talented team, especially against a team as good as Houston. They're number fourteen team in the nation for a reason, and it burnt the Bearcats. But I know nobody likes to glass half full um, look at it but at the same time I do like the fight that they showed tonight they will have to play against SMU in less than 24 hours and hopefully they can win on the road otherwise they will finish the season you know with a lot of losses but um, make sure you check out the front office news we have we'll have the recap up already um, hopefully we'll have the the video of uh, Wes Miller and um, Mikey Saunders Jr. talking after the game but just uh, just make sure you check out the front of his news, man. We will try to do more um, post-game vlogs, especially on the road um, when we have time. So um, just make sure you have the front of his news. Make sure you like the YouTube page and tell a friend and tell a friend uh, listen, to check out the front of his news.com. Have a good day.